What's up, Brian Tong here, and I don't know why you guys thought I was leaving the Apple Bite, but I'm back from vacation for everything good and bad inside the world of Apple. Now, a lot of you have been asking if I got that gold iPhone 5S. Well, you know, I've got it. I'm digging it, but the champagne color, it's so subtle that it looks like silver half the time. What a bummer. All right, it's all about the upcoming iPad refresh this week. We still don't have any official announcement date, but Reuters reports that production problems with the rumored Retina display for the iPad Mini 2 means it will have limited quantities, if at all, this year with full-scale production in 2014. Yikes. Now, this doesn't sound good at all, and it also means competitors like Amazon and Google could have the advantage they need this holiday to grow market share. One source says the delays were due to the strict power-saving specifications put down by Apple for Samsung, LG, and Sharp. Also, a lot of you keep asking me if Apple will actually bring the Touch ID technology to the new iPads as well. Rumors have pointed to no so far, so it's unclear if they end up making it, but just to stir the conversation up a little bit, YouTuber Unbox Therapy tore apart an iPhone 5S and has collected the purported front plate for the iPad 5 and says the gold Touch ID ring fits perfectly inside, which would make for a real small home button in the iPad. But this is all for fun, and I could be wrong, but my gut right now says no. So, you know, just wait for the iPad 5S. All right, KGI analyst Ming-Chi Kuo also reports that the next-gen iPad and Retina iPad mini will bump up to an 8-megapixel camera with a larger aperture for better pictures. One of the highlights of the 5S is its improved camera, so hopefully they bring the same to the iPads. And more videos have leaked out. This time, it's a hands-on with the iPad 5's housing in space gray, which is still a made-up color. Now, the team from SWBox.com compares it to the design of the iPad 4 and iPad mini. It's smaller, thinner, and lighter, and we pretty much know all of that, but we're just giving you guys a little eye candy. Now, the iPhone 5S has been out for a couple of weeks now, and you'll always have some issues popping up here and there. Now, everyone's been talking about how some people are experiencing vertigo or dizziness from the new iOS floating backdrop. So, if it's affecting you, check this out. Just jump into the settings, then general, then accessibility, find the reduce motion option, and turn it on, and it will turn off the parallax effect of the icons that make them look like they're floating above the backdrop, and hopefully it helps you out. But if that doesn't work, the team at the Jimmy Kimmel Show have a better solution. Do you suffer from nausea, headaches, and vertigo due to iOS 7? Maybe you should try Stop Looking at Your Phone Every 5 Seconds. Stop Looking at Your Phone Every 5 Seconds is a safe and effective way to get fast relief. Before you Instagram that photo, update your status, or check in on Foursquare, try Stop Looking at Your Phone Every 5 Seconds. Mm. <laughs> <coughs> All right, I feel much better now. Apple says they know about it and they're working on a fix with an upcoming software update. They said the issue affects a fraction of a percent of users, but I guess I'm one of them. I feel special. All right, to the quick bites. Apple is overtaking Coca-Cola as the most valuable brand in the world, according to brand consulting company Interbrand, knocking the beverage company down from its 13-year reign for the best global brands. Coca-Cola actually dropped to number three, and the other tech giant, Google, is number two. 9to5Mac also reports the Apple Care support staff has started training on OS X Mavericks ahead of its expected end of October launch. And we've talked about Apple's M5 game controller standard in the past, and here's a look at leaked shots of Logitech's upcoming gamepad for the iPhone. You'll also see there's an open space for the rear camera, so it could support augmented reality apps or other games that use the iPhone's camera. And this is a story I couldn't ignore while I was gone on vacation. In a recent USA Today interview, Johnny Ive said he'd like to design cups if he wasn't designing gadgets for Apple. Cups or iPhones or iPads? Like these cups or these cups? Well, you can make the call, but I'm just gonna wait to see what the iWatch looks like. All right, let's announce our five winners for our Design by Humans t-shirt giveaway. We asked you, what were all the sea creatures that I swam with a couple episodes ago? Well, the correct answers were a school of fish, a mermaid, a whale, even King Triton, an octopus, and another school of fish. All right, the winners are Leah Salzin, Logan Bailey, Dominique Leonard, Alden Wong, and Brian Rasmussen because he has the same name as me. First name, not last. All right, congrats to all of you, and we'll be reaching out to get you guys hooked up. 
Okay, keep sending us your emails with your impressions and questions to the Applebyte at CNET.com or tweet me at Brian Tongan. I'll get to them when I can, and yes, I still do answer them. That's going to do it for this week's show. I'm Brian Tong. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys next week for another bite of the apple.